Oh my gosh, like, whoa, that's really leathery. Passion for a blazer. I haven't got to go anywhere in forever. I want to put my heels on. Leather's so, like, leathery. Hello, lovely humans, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, obviously, today's video is a leather styling. To be honest, I never thought I would ever do this video. Like, up until last year, I didn't even own a leather jacket, let alone enough to do a leather styling video. So yeah, I've kind of fallen into the trap of this whole leather trend that is going around this season and I am loving it. Like the trench coats, the blazers, the trousers, I love it. I think it's just amazing. It's like such a fun, different way to style some really standard classic items, but just like with a bit of a twist. So yeah, I'm basically gonna be throwing you guys 15 outfits kind of based around five different leather items, if that makes sense. So you'll kind of have like one item with like three different potential ways you could wear it. Sometimes I'll mix and match ones where I'll do a multiple leather items within an outfit. But yeah, also if you guys want to see maybe some other ways I maybe style it, you can head over to my Instagram. It is at Debs Ruth under, at, at Debs underscore Ruth underscore. Gosh, I don't even know my own Instagram tag. Oh, failing. But anyway, let's get into some leather styling. So first outfit, to be honest, I am really about this outfit. Like, I think it's so cool. Like, it's obviously very much playing into all the current trends, like those kind of like, well, granddad sweaters are everywhere. And I'm loving it. I've put it on just with this like plain white shirt. I put it on with the skirt that I have from a few years ago. And then my new high knee boots. And I love it. This trench coat is so cool. Like, it's this leather trench coat, this really lovely like beige color. It also just looks quite subtly leather, which I think is really, really nice. There's something really cool about being able to wear leather but not feel like, you know, you're like a dominatrix or something. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's really cool. Like, it's something really, really nice about this leather, this leather trench. It kind of brings leather in, but in like kind of a bit more of a subtle way. And I'm kind of living for it, to be perfectly honest. I think this outfit's so cool, so current, so like current trendy, um, as they say. Um, but yeah, I really love this outfit. And I just feel like I would just feel like a queen in it. Okay, so next outfit is another way of styling the trench coat. So I'm kind of going to do like a few outfits for each item. And then, yeah, I think you got that. But anyway, so I've put it on with this beautiful khaki maxi dress that I got during the summer. It's like a lovely kind of smock style. And it's got these lovely little poofy sleeves. Not that you can see them in this outfit. But anyway, and again, I put them on with the same knee-high boots, which just adds a little bit of extra warmth as well for this time of the year. Again, obviously, another thing you could do, just to add a bit of extra warmth, would be to add a jumper on under, like over the dress underneath the coat as well, which would be really, really lovely, or maybe even just a cardigan. But actually, this coat is quite nice and warm, and I feel like for especially autumn time anyway, would definitely still be warm enough. But I love this. It's something so cool about like that oversized dress with like the long trench. It just looks so cool together. And I'm just put on my mango bag. I also have this like fake little like Louis Vuitton like coin purse that I've added to which I actually think like looks really cool like adds like a nice coloring to the outfit I just really quite like this outfit I just think it's like really practical and easy to wear just on day to day so next way I have tried to style this trench coat is in a very workwear kind of vibe I feel like sometimes like that kind of smarter workwear vibe is a little bit of a harder situation to style leather for and so I actually thought this trench coat would be a perfect way to do it sorry I realized something in my eye and I'm like my eyes twitching away i really like this one because i've obviously gone for like an all neutral look which is very like classy looking and very put together there are these beautiful zara trousers they're lovely and this lovely little zara blouse as well and then these kind of um gucci dupe leather loafers um which i just really love i think this is such a cool outfit it's be so nice for like a little like maybe a lunch meeting or something or maybe even if you are going to the office or something something like that but i feel like potentially for something more casual too you definitely could like pull it out if you're feeling feeling ready for it but yeah i love this outfit i love the neutral i think the leather leather trench doesn't look that very leather-esque but looks super nice still all the same so we are moving on to my first pair of leather trousers these I actually only got recently, so I've only just started sizing them and I actually am loving it. They are so comfortable. Those are from Zara, they're in my most recent Zara haul. If you wanna go check that out, go check it out. You probably have, because Brands is probably why you're here, because lots of you guys came from that one, so welcome. Um, but yeah, I love this. I just put on with my cool padded tea tank and then this beautiful, beautiful teddy bear coat from Topshop that I got last year and then just some chunky boots. I absolutely love this. Like, 
this is such a cool outfit and I just really really love it I think also because of this especially this time of the year it's not really cold not really really cold so I feel like because this coat is so warm and cozy this actually works perfectly just with the tea underneath it um and I just love this outfit there's something really cool and chic about it this is something I'd wear literally every day just doing casual things just pop into the shop or whatever it is I would live in this kind of outfit and also comfort for days you could also maybe switch out the boots for like a runner or something if you wanted something more like that too okay so for another quite casual relaxed kind of style of leather trousers i've gone for this beauty of a cardigan this cardigan is so beautiful it's not a scarf don't worry it's so so nice it's so comfortable so pretty it comes with a lovely lovely crop as well and then i've just put it on with my trench coat my veggies and then my new zara bag and i just love it i love bringing in a little bit of color with the zara bag with a little bit of green which is really cool but yeah this outfit is just so nice it, again it's just something i'd wear so regularly the leather trouser although it kind of like brings like a really cool different texture and stuff to the outfit it just it still looks really casual like it doesn't stand out too much because that was one thing i was always worried about when I was doing leather, I was like, it's gonna look so like obvious and like leather and like leather so like leathery. And I just feel like it's like you look at that and you don't think, oh my gosh, like well, that's really leathery. You don't. You think, well, that looks really nice. Like the black as well is so nice and subtle. And I just love this outfit. I just think it looks so nice. So I felt it would be wrong if I didn't, you know, do a slightly fancier outfit. Something for like going out for some drinks maybe a nice dinner not that we're doing that at the moment but when we do get to that will be fun and to be honest at the moment i think like literally like even the tiniest occasion like i would be like oh my gosh i'm putting on my heels just because i don't even like wearing heels but just because i'm like i haven't got to go anywhere in forever i want to put my heels on and um, but yeah i love this outfit this is my mango blazer which i am obsessed with i love this blazer it is so beautiful like literally so beautiful um, and then I put on with these beautiful, beautiful, I feel like I just keep saying beautiful, but they are beautiful. And um, these lovely Zara heels, they're kind of like a really, really lovely, just like nude color. And they just go perfectly with my skin tone that they're like the perfect nude. And then again, just my little mango over the shoulder bag. And I just think this is such a lovely outfit that I'd 100% throw on just to like go out with the girls or whatever it is. Go for a nice drink, go for a nice meal, whatever it is. Love it. And also you're warm because you got trousers and sleeves on win on to the leather blazer gosh i think the leather blazer is like <laughs> just like it was like made for me okay that's a bit dramatic but you know what i mean i love i love it like i love blazers i have a passion for a blazer and so like this just like is like <laughs> so great so yeah this is kind of a way to wear, wear it quite casually just with these jeans these are my mango jeans full length love them with a chunky boot or something i've just put it on with this beautiful um chunky knit card chunky knit sweater but what am i saying sweater jumper and i just think it's such a lovely casual outfit it just is so comfortable so put together but just also is like a really nice way to introduce leather into your outfit in a slightly more kind of like relaxed way i personally feel anyway like i feel like this isn't like madly like out there or anything but is so nice and comfortable and just looks so smart but also really cool but also really retro and i just love it i think it's so cool so this next outfit is a little bit out of my comfort zone to be perfectly honest because i well yeah it's usually when wear something like this but i have been seeing so many girls doing this and i'm just like it looks so cool so i put on my really cool high knee boots and this beautiful sweater I keep saying sweater, what is wrong with me? Like sweater dress, jumper dress, jumper dress. This isn't actually a jumper dress, it is just a jumper, but it was like a men's oversized one. I think it is on the short side for me to be honest, and part of me I'm not sure if I'd actually, I feel maybe a little bit uncomfortable in it. I might wear like a cycling short under it just in case it like came up or something. But I think it looks so cool with like the leather, like the leather blazer over with like the leather boots so this is quite a lot more leather than like maybe the other outfits but i think it's like a really cool way of doing it and then with like the crossbody bag i just think it looks so cool and put together i feel like such like a cool girl in this if you know what i mean like you know that real like cool girl vibe that's how i'd feel in this one i really like it i think it's a really cool outfit and i just yeah i feel like i just feel cool in this i just feel cool so i wanted to kind of find a way to maybe like dress up a blazer and to be honest there's so many more ways like i literally throw it on with like a dress just like just over a dress or something but i thought this would be a cool way was to put it on with these beautiful slit 
at the bottom legs, legs, leg, leggings, and some heels. I just think this looks so cool. There's something about like, this slit leg, um, leggings that just like are so flattering on the leg. They just make your legs look so long and slim. And then with like a little heel, they just look like, mm, love it. Again, put the green bag. To be honest, I might actually wear this with like a, like a clutch rather, if I was like going out for like a fancier occasion. But I do really like this. I think it's so cool. And like just like a kind of a different take on a side kind of outer outfit, I suppose. And it's just also something that like, again, you'd be so warm in. Like I wouldn't be freezing my butt off. Like, cause you know, like at this time of the year, you're like, oh, I wanna put my dress on. And then you're freezing all night long. And you just hate life because you're so cold. All right guys, sorry, my battery died, but we are back. Okay, so next up is the most classic of the pinnacle of classicness. Nisness, classicalness, I don't know. The classic leather jacket. It's just, it's classic, you know? But yeah, I've <laughs> I've styled this in a super, I'm gonna say classic just one more time. I promise it'll be the last. In a super classic way. And um, just with a light wash jean and a white tee and a white runner. Like this is such a way I love to wear some like a leather jacket. It's just looks so good. You look put together, you look stylish, no matter what, no matter when, no matter where, no matter what time you're in, you'll look good. Um, I've actually recently styled this with like a knitted trouser, which is like obviously bringing in the kind of loungewear trend, which I love. It looks so nice and it's also so comfortable. This one's from Zara and it's such a beautiful um, leather jacket. It's really nice and oversized as well, so I can fit nice chunky cardigans under if you want to warm this kind of outfit up at this time of the year. Okay, to be honest, I'm not fully sure what I was going for with this vibe. I think I was kind of thinking sort of like office -y, smart casual kind of a vibe. I'm not, not going to lie, I'm not really sure if there's a lot of offices that you go in like that or not. I don't work in an office, so I have no clue. But I think I'd wear this like if I was meeting someone for like, kind of like a business meeting maybe or something like in a cafe or I don't know where. I wanted to look smart, but I still want to look casual and like kind of that smart casual kind of balance. So these are a beautiful pair of black trousers. These are actually exactly the same as the cream ones you saw earlier on. Again from Zara, they are so nice, perfectly high-waisted, so comfortable, fit nicely, so flattering. Mm, they're so good. They also come in a load of different colors. And then I just put on with a chunky boot and this is actually a really lovely like blouse. It's like a really nice polka dot. And then obviously the leather jacket. I kind of thought it would look cool for I don't know, maybe a casual smart occasion. But yeah, I really like this outfit. I think it's really nice. And I think I'd actually wear it quite casually too, just for like a day-to-day -day kind of a look. I love styling trousers more casually. I think it's really nice. Okay, so next I've paired my leather jacket with something I kind of would do on like a night out or a night out for drinks or something. Something a little bit obviously fancier, maybe a Christmas party. Obviously a lot of those things are not really happening in the same traditional way, but I definitely think there's definitely gonna be occasions to maybe dress up a little bit but maybe not like super much, AKA the flat boots. I'm not a big heel fan, although I'm really wanting to wear heels at the moment because I never get to wear them. I don't have a choice about it, so now I want to, but this is such a nice way to wear a kind of a nicer outfit with a dress, but then put on maybe a nice chunky black leather boot with a leather jacket. It just looks so cool put together. This is a really nice dress from, I think, Brishka. I actually got it in a charity shop though for like three euro or something, but it's still a label on. Velvet, so nice, I love it. But yeah, I kind of love this kind of outfit. Like I feel comfortable, but casual, but also really nice and like dressed up too. So next up, we are on to the leather legging. This is actually what I was asked to do for this video was how to style leather leggings. Leather leggings are actually kind of an awkward, funny one. I think different people like to style them different ways, but there's not a load and load and load of ways that I personally like them styled. So this is one way that I would style quite regularly. So for a really casual, comfy, like Sunday afternoon walk, maybe even just a dog walk or something, leather leggings, my Doc Martens, just, this is just Darren's oversized hoodie, and then my black kind of teddy coat jacket from Only. I love it, I feel casual, I feel comfy, I feel warm, but also like the leather leggings kind of like adds like a cool aspect to it, which I just think, yeah, I think it like all goes really nicely together. And I just think it works to kind of look casual, but yet look like you've, you know what you're doing, you know, like you know, you know what you're wearing, you know what you're doing, you know what your purpose is, you know what you're, I don't know what I'm saying, but you know, you know. Okay, so another way I love to do it is with a oversized blazer. Well, this isn't super oversized, but on the oversized sizeness, 
and a chunky trainer so i have kind of a weird thing about leather leggings i actually prefer the whole like kind of crotch area just like kind of covered i don't know why maybe it's just this pair maybe it's just like the style of them i'm not sure but yeah i love this outfit i think it's so cool and in the troll neck just adds a little bit of warmth this blazer is a lovely warm one from h&m that i got i think last year and it's so lovely and warm it's kind of more on like the winter blazer kind of side and so it's nice and cozy which is lovely and then these are my adidas oswegos i think that's how you say it oswego 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 i'm not sure mine are kind of like the white with a bit of cream on them they are really hard to keep clean though but they're really nice and they're kind of like a slightly more subtle chunky trainer which is cool to have and it kind of makes this outfit look a little bit more urban chic a little bit more cool girl vibes as opposed to like I don't know a different kind of a vibe so i thought it would only be right if i did an all leather outfit i mean i'm doing a leather styling i have to do an all leather and i've been seeing so many like really cool instagrammers doing these kind of outfits and they just look so cool part of me feels like i kind of look like i'm about to like i don't know like kick ass like in like some superhero movie but I also feel like I look like a superhero, like in the cool fashion sense of a superhero. I'm not really winning at that. But anyway, yes, I put on my high knee boots, my leather leggings and my blazer. And I've actually also used, wait for it. I've used the strap from my crossbody bag as a belt and it works so well. I personally think, I think it looks really cool. And then it's also got like the little buckle that I like put my little fake Louis Vuitton coin purse thingy on which i think makes it look really like cool and like you know like that like prada-esque belt vibe i think it looks really nice and then again just my over the shoulder bag and i just love it i actually think i would wear this it would have to be on like a fairly like i'm feeling myself kind of a day but you know those days happen those days happen so someday you might see me out on this guys that is all of the outfits out all 15 of them i really hope you enjoyed i hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration as to some ways that you can wear leather in your wardrobe whether that's in a really subtle way or whether it's your entire outfit and <laughs> um, but yeah i will see you in the next one i hope you have a great day bye guys